Filling half of your plate with vegetables is one of the simplest and most effective things you can do to lose weight. Vegetables offer a lot of nutrients but not a lot of calories. In order to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit, meaning you are expending more energy than you are taking in. This can be achieved through engaging in exercise and diet, but at the same time, you don't want to feel restricted, deprived, or hungry. Otherwise, you won't be able to stick with your plan. Keep watching to find out why vegetables aid weight loss and our experts' top picks of vegetables for weight loss. Why should you eat vegetables for weight loss? Vegetables are low in calories and high in water and fiber. Typically, one cup of vegetables has only 20 to 50 calories. Contrast that with one cup of pasta or rice, which has about 200 calories. This is not to say that carbs don't also have a place on your plate, but just to put the calorie difference into perspective. Cauliflower. From cauliflower pizza to cauliflower rice, cauliflower is here to stay, and for a good reason. One cup of chopped cauliflower has only 27 calories, with 2 grams of fiber and 2 grams of protein. It's filling and versatile. My favorite way to prepare cauliflower is to chop it up, drizzle it with some olive oil and a generous sprinkle of garlic powder and nutritional yeast, and then roast it in the oven until lightly browned and crispy along the edges. Roasting the cauliflower brings out so much flavor, so it's a great way to incorporate more vegetables and fiber, especially if you're not a veggie lover. Spaghetti squash. All winter squashes are low calorie foods effective for weight loss. But spaghetti squash is my personal favorite. It's the perfect low calorie alternative, only 42 calories in one cup, for anyone wanting to cut back on conventional spaghetti. It's also low fat and provides fiber that's both filling and nutritious. And for those with diabetes who need to limit their carbohydrate intake, it won't spike blood sugar the same way pasta might. So, not only is spaghetti squash a great go-to weight loss food, but you'll also still retain that spaghetti mouthfeel we all love. Cook up a spaghetti squash or two and use it as a substitute for any pasta dish, or use half noodles and half spaghetti squash. Remember to pair it with other colorful vegetables and protein for a balanced meal. Avocado. Yeah, yeah, we know avocados are technically a fruit, but we had to include them for their fat-burning properties. That may sound like a contradiction since avocados are high in fat. However, they are high in heart-healthy monounsaturated fat, which keeps you full because it is digested slowly. According to a recent study, eating half avocado helps reduce overall belly fat. You also get the heart protective benefits of lowering your LDL, bad, cholesterol. Half of an avocado has a whopping 5 grams of fiber, which is half the amount to aim for at each meal. Avocados are versatile, making it easy to get them into your diet on a regular basis. Mix a quarter to one half of an avocado into a green smoothie for a creamy treat, add sliced avocado to a salad, or make guacamole for a snack. Avocados are also delicious on tacos and in tuna salad. Stick to a serving size of a quarter to a half of an avocado. One medium avocado has 240 calories, so it is possible to have too much of a good thing if your goal is to lose weight. Cabbage. Cabbage is low in calories and high in fiber. Consuming enough fiber is an important part of a diet for weight loss, as it helps you to stay full and provides little in the way of calories. Cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable, along with broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower. Zucchini. Zucchini is a great way to add fiber, volume, and nutrients with very few calories. One cup of sliced zucchini has only 19 calories and 3.5 grams of total carbohydrates. It has a neutral taste that easily adapts to other more flavorful ingredients, both sweet and savory. You can grate it into oatmeal, add it to a smoothie, or substitute it for pasta. Zucchini is also delicious when it is roasted and cooks quickly on the stove, making it easy to add to stovetop dishes like pasta and stir fries. In fact, you can swap out noodles for zoodles, also known as zucchini noodles, which are made by using a spiralizer. And don't forget zucchini makes delicious baked goods too. And kale. Cruciferous vegetables contain potent phytonutrients that can help fight off cancer and reduce inflammation. With only 22 calories and 5 grams of total carbs per cup, cabbage is diabetes and weight loss friendly. Romaine lettuce. If you're looking for one of the lowest calorie vegetables, romaine lettuce has only 8 calories per cup. The downside is that it is pretty low in fiber too, with just 1 gram per cup. But it's a great catch-all vegetable. You can also use romaine hearts for lettuce wraps and to add crunch to sandwiches. I recommend buying a 3-pack and prepping as needed, they last much longer than pre-cut lettuce. Romaine lettuce is a low-calorie food rich in a variety of nutrients, such as folate, and has a mild flavor.
It's not fancy or flashy, but it's versatile, affordable, and great for weight loss. Green peas. Peas are starchy vegetables, like potatoes and corn, meaning they have more carbohydrates than non-starchy vegetables. But green peas pack a punch of fiber and protein, something other vegetables can't boast about. One cup of peas has 8 grams of fiber and 8 grams of protein. Similar to fiber, protein promotes satiety and high-protein diets are associated with weight loss, according to a 2020 study published in the Journal of Obesity and Metabolic Syndrome. The body burns twice as many calories digesting protein than carbs and fat. So don't be afraid of peas 10 extra grams of carbohydrates compared to their non-starchy counterparts. Kale. One cup of kale has only 7 calories, which means you can fill your entire plate with 4 to 5 cups of kale for under 50 calories. It also has a rougher texture than other greens, so it takes a little longer to chew. Eating slowly helps you feel full with fewer calories. Kale's rough texture isn't for everyone, but there are other ways to enjoy it. Roast kale on a baking sheet for homemade crunchy kale chips or blend it into a smoothie to add filling fiber. To reduce the roughness of raw kale, massage it with olive oil and lemon juice and let it stand for several minutes before tossing in your other salad ingredients. Spinach Spinach makes a perfect staple in your refrigerator because there are so many ways to sneak it into your diet. It has a milder taste and texture than kale, which appeals to more people's taste buds. Nutrition-wise, spinach is similar to kale, with 7 calories and 0.7 grams of fiber per cup. Enjoy spinach in a salad, smoothie, stir-fry, or pasta dish. Or sauté it with olive oil, salt, and pepper for a savory side dish. You can buy it fresh or frozen. If it's starting to wilt, Add it to soup or toss the whole bag in the freezer to use for smoothies. Carrots While carrots have a little more sugar than other vegetables, they also have more fiber. One cup of carrots delivers 3.5 grams of fiber, which is three times the amount of fiber in a cup of leafy greens. And they are still low in calories at 52 per cup. Carrots are a crunchy alternative to chips, which have about 130 calories in a serving size of just 12 to 15 chips. And most importantly, chips lack the fiber that is present in carrots. Bell peppers. Bell peppers are low in calories and high in nutrients. In fact, one bell pepper contains more vitamin C than an orange. With research linking those with lower vitamin C levels to higher amounts of body fat, this is a vegetable that should top your grocery list. Red, orange, and yellow peppers are sweet, making them easy to eat. One cup of sliced raw peppers has just 24 calories with 2 grams of fiber. Dip peppers in hummus or tzatziki, add them to a turkey wrap, or cook them in a skillet alongside onions for some fiber packed fajitas. That's it for today. Check out the channel for more health and weight loss content. You can also purchase our weight loss course. And please, like and subscribe to be notified of our next tip. See you next time.